Hello sustainable growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. In this video today we will talk about snails in aquaponics. So we will see if snails are a good thing or a bad thing for the aquaponics setup. We will see what snails eat, what are their function and their action on the aquaponics ecosystem and what can we do with snails in aquaponics. So there are plenty of species of snails on the planet and some of those snails are able to live into the water. You got some freshwater snails and some saltwater snails, you know, snails that are living into the sea. So here we are talking about the snails that are adapted to fresh water. So we call them freshwater snails or aquatic snails. And those little animals are really, really well adapted to living into the water. Now some of them uh, still live with some lungs and therefore they need to breathe the air from the surface but some of them develop some gills and they are able to breathe uh, completely uh, submerged into the water. The question I receive so often is uh, are snails good or bad uh, for aquaponics because you may be aware of it but when you buy uh, fish from uh, the aquarium shop or when you, you get some fish from uh, the, the fish farm or when even you get some plants, aquatic plants, and you put them into your fish tank, uh, sometimes you get some eggs of, uh, of snails that are fixed onto those plants. And uh, the snails can develop into your aquaponic setup, and then they can reproduce very quickly, and you can have a lot of them around into the fish tank, and sometimes even into the grow bed. So uh, the question is, are snails good or bad for the aquaponics setup. You know that I really like to have a very wide biodiversity in my aquaponics setup and therefore I think that snails are really really good for the uh, aquaponics ecosystem. There are different varieties of snails, uh, of freshwater snails and uh, some of them have a better or more interesting action than others uh, but generally I think it's good to uh, open the ecosystem and to add new spaces into the ecosystem and I will tell you now why I think that snails are so beneficial for the aquaponics uh, environment and especially for the ecosystem. The snails are some living creatures, they are mollusks actually. Most of them are vegetarian and they eat algae. So most of them eat benthic algae which is basically the algae that are living on the wall of the setup. So they are living on the walls and uh, on the bottom of the setup. So I often receive some, uh, some questions about how to avoid algae in aquaponics. Well, having some snails is not going to remove the, all the algae, but it's going to limit the growth. So it's a really good way to manage the quantity of uh, algae that you have. Now let's have a picture of the aquaponics ecosystem we have here. We have some fish that we feed every day with some fish food. Those fish are going to pull into the water and this ammonia that is produced it's going to feed the whole ecosystem, right? It's going to feed uh, your bacteria and your plants. But in between, you've got a lot of different animals that are going to break down all the organic matters in very small particles. But in the aquaponic setup, we also got a competition, right? The competition of the algae because they, they got some food into the water. So if you got a bit of light that is going into your fish tank, you're going to have a growth of algae on the fish tank. So the snails, most of the snails are really, really well adapted to this environment because they love eating algae. They can eat a lot, a lot of algae per day. So they are, some of them spend their whole day looking for food, looking for spot of algae. So if you got some in your aquaponic setup, they're going to look around and try to find those algae and eat them. So you're going to really decrease this quantity of algae. And now algae are not really bad, but as I, I just said, they are a competition. They're going to eat all the nitrogen that will be beneficial for the, for the plants. And the algae as they are, if you leave them as they are into the aquaponic setup, the fish are not going to eat them. So obviously when they die, uh, they're going to break down and they're going to release their nitrogen that was stocked. But during the time where they live, they don't really generate anything for the aquaponic ecosystem, except if you got other creatures that are able to eat them. But here, if you introduce the snails, the snails are going to be able to eat those algae and they're going to be able to reproduce and to generate a certain biomass. So this biomass of snail then, you got some fish that are able to eat the snails straight away. So as you know, a snail has a, has a shell. When you look at the shell of the snails, some of them are extremely hard 
such as this one. Uh, this one uh, is what we call a mystery snail. And uh, the, shell, the shell is very, very uh, strong, very hard. So the fish will have uh, some troubles to be able to break it and to eat the snail. But uh, some other species of snails are way softer. Okay, so here I got a very, very tiny snail. Uh, quite hard to see, but I think you can see it. So this little tiny snail, uh, the fish are able to break the shell because the shell is very thin. So th then depending on the species of fish you have, some of the fish, they got some in the goat. Uh, they got two kinds of big tooth that are able to break uh, the, the shell of the snail. And therefore they are able to eat the snails. So that's a perfect thing to have into your aquaponic setup because when you got those kind of snails, what is happening is that the, the I mean, the algae that can grow on the wall is going to be consumed by those, uh, by those snails. And therefore, a certain biomass is going to be produced of very high quality food for the fish. Because those snails, they are full of vitamin, uh, they, they are very high in terms of protein as well. So it's a very interesting food, it's live food, it's exceptional for the fish. So if you have good species of snails and good species of fish that are able to break the shell, because certain fish are even able to break the shell of, the, of certain uh, species of uh, snails that are quite strong. So if you have the good mix, that's perfect because here you close uh, the whole loop of the ecosystem. What I mean by that is here in an aquaponic setup the loop is open because we are producing plants but the plant, you can feed your fish with the plant sometimes with the vegetables but most of the time you still need to add some fish food into your aquaponic setup. But if you put snails into the aquaponic setup then you really close the loop because the algae are going to be able to be eaten by the fish and therefore you really close the system because when the fish poo, they poo into the water and this nitrogen is going to be able to produce new algae and the algae are going to be able to produce new uh, snails and the snails are going to be eaten by the, by the fish again. So it really close the loop. Now when I say close the loop, obviously close the loop, but when you remove something from the system, when you harvest your veggies or your fish, you remove some nitrogen from the set system, right, from the setup. So you need, you still need to add some food, right? But uh, at least a part of the waste of the food is used to grow new food for the fish, which is a very, very high profile, uh, very high quality of food. So that's why I think snails are very, very interesting for aquaponics. They are part of those animals where we have to do a lot of research in the next years to be able to develop a system where basically we completely close the loop. So you can work with snails, we can work with worms, but worms, uh, the problem is to collect them from the setup. So those two, those two kind of animals are for me a very, very interesting topic and I think a lot of research needs to be done on those. Now, the other thing is that they spawn into the aquaponic setup and sometimes the population can become completely unmanageable. Sometimes you got too many snails into the aquaponic setup and if you don't have the fish that eat them, the population of snails is going to be uh, saturated. You don't have any really negative impact on your aquaponic setup, but it's always good to balance the different populations of creatures. One of the solutions to control the population of snails is to introduce another species of snail that is going to be able to eat the other uh, snail. So you see, you got different species of snails. Most of them are able to eat vegetables and especially algae, but some of them are predators of the other snails. Now, most of the snails are able to breed and to uh, to spawn the eggs into the water. So they spawn a kind of jelly with some little eggs inside. But some of them, especially the apple snail, which is a very big snail that can be big as my, uh, as my feet, uh, those kind of snails, they, they can spawn outside of the water. The snail live into the water and can go out of the surface and, uh, and spawn outside of the water. So again, I think that's very fascinating, not only because of the uh, ecosystem. Yes, it has a positive impact on the ecosystem. I think each time we add a bit of life into the ecosystem, it adds a bit of uh, interest uh, to the aquaponic setup. I think you know, the more things you have, the more different shapes and uh, different uh, style of life you have into your aquaponic setup. And the most interesting your aquaponic setup is going to be for yourself and for your friends. So, my recommendation is to put some snails into the aquaponic setup. 
some of them worth a decent amount of money and uh, they can reach up to $10 per, per snail. So that's a very high price. Uh, most of the time the price is below, but depending on the spaces, you can have some very, very expensive snails. So if you have a, if you have a few snails in your aquaponic setup and the breed, so this is also a good way to make a bit of money and to pay the electricity bill. Now, if you don't have the good fish appropriate to your snails, if the fish are not able to break the shell of the snails to eat them, what you can do is to simply scratch them by yourself between your fingers and you throw them into the aquaponic setup, into the fish tank, and the fish are going to eat them straight away because this is exceptional for them. That's a really good food. So, yeah, if you don't have the fish adapted to the snail, just squash them with your fingers. It just takes a few minutes. Sometimes two times you just squash few here and there and it's going to add, uh, uh, it's going to be a very good source of food for your fish. So when it comes to the spaces of snail, there are different spaces. Just make sure to have the spaces that is adapted to the temperature of your aquaponic setup and to the water parameters. So uh, the easiest thing is to go into the closest dam and to look. Most of the time you will be able to find snails by yourself if you look into the water. If you don't, you can buy some. If you got some snails that reproduce into your aquaponic setup, don't uh, just release them into the environment because they become they can become a very big pest for the aquatic environment. They can just take the place of all the spaces and it will be uh, dramatic. So if you want to buy snails uh, from an aquarium shop, you can buy different spaces. You got the apple snail, that's a snail that is really, really big. It's very impressive, it looks amazing into the, uh, into the fish tank. So you have the gold indica snail and uh, the ivory snails. There are two kinds of uh, snails that are very efficient to clean uh, the, the walls of the tank because they eat so much algae every day. The snail that is eating the other species of snail is called assassin snail. Uh, there are other species as well that are able to attack other species of, uh, of snails. So this is one to keep in mind if one day you have a problem in your aquaponic setup where you got too many snails. It's never really an issue, but uh, if you can follow up by squashing them, uh, just introduce a few assassin snail and they will take care of the problem. There is the Japanese uh, trapdoor snail, which has a kind of opercule that is that it can close. So it's, it's, like of a, it's like a door that is got uh, at the entrance of the shell. And when there is a, a problem, it just goes inside the shell and it closes the door. So it's quite interesting to have this kind of species as well. And uh, the trumpet snail, which is a snail that can dig into the, into the media uh, to go and to grab some food that is buried. So if you got some dead pellets, you're going to find them, you're going to eat them without any problem. I hope you learned a lot of things about snails and I hope you're going to introduce some into your aquaponic setup. Uh, before anything, please uh, don't forget to get the free guide from uh, the description of the video. Uh, very interesting guide to breed your own aquaponic setup. It's completely free, so get it and use it to breed your aquaponic setup. And see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!